Hey everyone, okay, so I'm going to do an update to one of my APK files that's going up to Google Play, and I wanted to walk through that. This is, uh, I'll, I'll kind of go over the settings in a second, but basically this is HeyZap only, um, without mediation, so no mediation here, just straight HeyZap integration, which also works for the rewarded videos, um, and I'll show you that in just a second. So for this one, uh, it's going to be, here's my Google Play. It's going to be uh, dodgy is the one we're going to update so click and go into that uh, let's see so you see it's already set up here um, this is going to be an update I uh, wanted to, somebody pointed out that the uh, APK or I'm sorry that the game was uh, a little jacked and I'll show you why what, what it was here in a second um, what we're going to do though is come into production you can see we're on version 3 that's going to be important in a second we can either do beta and we could upload a new APK uh, once we build it here in a second, or we could just go straight to production, which is what I'm going to do when we come back. But uh, you can see this one is currently in production, number three. Uh, and you can't do another version, same version again. So you can change the 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 stuff, but you can't change the actual uh, version number here. And I'll, I'll show you that in the settings now. So in build box, you come in here and your settings, I've already changed them, but I'll, I'll show it to you. You can come in here and go to Google Play. And you can see here I've put the game version to 1.4 now and I've already changed the version code to 4. So this is going to change to 4. And this number here in the parentheses is going to change to 1.4. I'm just trying to keep them together now. Instead of 3 and 1.2, I just want it to be 4, 1.4. Just so it makes sense for me. Uh, let's see. So for that, um, that's really it for the version portion. Next, we go into advertisement real quick and show you what I got. Show you what I got for the Google Play. So just my HeyZap uh, publisher ID. That's it. Nothing else. That's all I'm going to put in there. Uh, inside of the game, how that's going to work. I'll show you the menus real quick. The only thing I offer is uh, the rewarded videos, and I've I've gone over this in another video. But HeyZap rewarded videos, buy and use, and then that's linked to the uh, action selection. I did a much more thorough video on, on how that works if you want to go watch that. But basically, if there's a video available and loaded up into memory, the user can click this button and uh, they get 250 uh, coins to use to purchase either characters or uh, stuff from the shop. And I'll show you the shop in just a second. Um, so in the shop, we have the buy buttons. Um, and that's, that's really it. You buy packs, coin packs. And then uh, you can you can get these from the store. Going back over here, uh, go around the horn here. So for advertisements, shop is Hey Zap. Uh, every time you're going to get the banner. Uh, same with the pause screen banners. So at uh, every when there's a game over, every five times you die, you're going to get a Hey Zap inner situal advertisement and banner advertisements are going to be there every every time. Um, and then the rest are, are kind of similar. Um, I'm not going to go over all of them, but there you go. So that's basically, I'm just using Hayes app, uh, and that's, you'll see why that's important here in a second. Or I'll, I'll actually, I'll, I'll talk about it a little more. So next thing I want to do is export. So I'm going to do file, export, Android OS. And again, this is an update, so I've already verified that my version number, I've changed my version number to four, and uh, that's really the important thing on this one. And I fixed the stuff that was, that was pointed out to me that was uh, a little jacked up, and just for your awareness, it was on the game field. I had not checked, unchecked, stick to edge when I moved these from the bottom down here to the side. I did not uh, uncheck stick to edge, so they were overlapping each other on the game field. So that's what I'm fixing right now. And uh, this is actually the APK I'm going to upload to the store. So so that looked good. That's what I want. And I'll go export Android. And you're going to get this warning. I can't. I don't think I can drag it. No, I can't drag it back on screen. But uh, basically, it tells you if you're using mediation, you're going to have to follow the directions from uh, the link here. If you just want to use this for Hayes app, which is all I'm using it for, I'm not trying to use their mediation service. Then, uh, then you don't have to worry about that little banner thing. And now it's going to take a second, and then it's going to say where do you want to save it. And there it is. So I was saving it to the repository, which is a network drive, and it's my R drive. And uh, I'm gonna uh, tell you, you did not, you did not want to do that. Don't, don't save it to. You can, but there's another step you got to take, and it's gonna cause issues. I'll show you that in a minute. I was having, that was all my issues. Uh, well, a large portion of my issues 
Um, I had one APK that was building fine, and then I had another one that wasn't, and then I started surfing uh, Stack Exchange, and somebody commented something about uh, relative versus absolute paths, and it don't, a light bulb went off, and I said, I'm saving one of these local, and one of them is, is going to the R drive, and I found out where the uh, where, where it's actually, the hiccup is coming with the relative versus absolute, so I'll show that in a second. And then... Bottom line, though, I just decided to save everything to the C drive when I'm exporting these things, not on my not on my NAS drives. Um, so, pull that down here to Dodgy, go to Exports, and again, this is going to be version 1-4, and I'll put her there. So, save. That's going to take a second, and then I'll go ahead and get. We'll go. Ahead and, ah, there it is. So we'll let that save. Okay, that's going to be here now so we've got that loaded up we can come over here we can say import and existing Android code into workspace look for that C drive this PC C drive Android whoops build export dodgy da -da -da, 1.4 and then there it is it's gonna find everything in there and once you get that in it finds everything this uh, PTAD up site that is going to be uh, that was causing some problems too and I'll show you how to work around that in a second um, so that's it so we can import now finish now once it starts importing it's going to uh, list everything over here you're going to see it all listed in here you're going to go through the building refreshing and all that stuff it's going to build it's going to show errors and then the errors are going to clear out again just like they do uh, anytime you pull these in so there's the little exclamation marks, and those will change to a little yellow, uh, just cautions here in a second. All right, there they go. They turned yellow, and building workspace, this should be the last time. It's done. Okay, so once this is imported, I found the first thing I have to do is come down and go to your Android manifest. If you don't do this, you're going to get an error. Uh, later saying uh, something about uh, Java 1.6 doesn't support something or another to that effect. Uh, I think it was the open and close. What was it less than greater than symbols? Uh, it's going to say that those aren't used in something less than 1.7. And that I, I chased that rabbit hole down to being that the minimum SDK version needs to be 13. Um, and that's the best detail I can give you on why that is. But I know if I change this to 13, I don't have any issues, at least not yet that nobody's told me. And quite frankly, I'm not targeting any APIs that are less than 13. That's like KitKat, I don't know, way long time ago. Um, so 13, change that, and that will fix you there. So the, other, the next issue is going to be your lint. You still got to clear uh, not let the, yeah, let me, uh, select that. So you got to Ignore all errors on the Lint. So I had Android Lint preferences. Ignore all. Apply. Yes. Okay. Yes. And that's going to clear out all the, all the Lint errors that you would have gotten. Okay, now to get to the... Uh, this is kind of the get you one that, that's not so easy to figure out. Um, again, I got this through one of the Stack Exchange articles that this is what was causing my errors when I, it was saying that it couldn't find... I think it was saying that it couldn't find the Google Play services uh, lib, and that was because it was looking for a relative path to the, or, sorry, it was looking for the path on the C drive. So basically, it was looking at this like C, whatever it was looking for somewhere somewhere along along this line, like Eclipse, you know, so, something along that line, and it was actually in the R drive wherever it was. So I changed it. Want to save it now to the C drive. It's looking for it in the right place. I don't get the errors anymore. So um, just saying, save it to the C drive. If you wanted to, if I wanted to play with this, I could probably figure out where to put it on the R, or where to type in that it is on the R drive, um, which is something like R games, you know, I, I don't know, put an absolute path in there. But relative path works as long as I put it on the C drive. So that's what I'm doing. All right. So the next thing I want to do is uh, come up here. I want to select this got all my uh, everything is configured right now I won't get any errors with this so I go Android tools export signed application uh, I have project checks so let's see project name is right or where it's pulling it in from go in here I already have the key store loaded that's my key store um, yours will be different 
and you have to use the same key store that you used before let me get this password in if you don't use the same key store that you used before um, it's going to throw an error and i'll show you why here in a second and you better use the same alias from that key store and get the password right and this is why right here you're going to get this fingerprint that is has to match the one at the store if it doesn't match the one at the store um, it's going to throw an error and it won't, let, it won't even let you upload it. So that's kind of the, the check that you're the only one that has the key store. You're the only one that knows that password. You're the only one that can put this fingerprint uh, on here properly. And that's how they know that it was you that uploaded it correctly to the store. Um, so there you go. Click finish and it will generate and we'll be back in a second. Okay, I think it's about done. It's refreshing external uh, folders and whatnot. So... There it goes, it just popped in, 1.4 is done. That worked, I'm happy. So now, what to do over here. So now we'll go upload new APK to production, and then we'll drop it in there. This is where if you didn't change your version number, you'll upload, you know, this whole, mine's 10 megs. I'd end up uploading this entire 10 meg file, and then it would say, oh, sorry, you, you didn't put the right version number in. So. Um, and I've tried, after it did it last time, I tried instead of exporting from BuildBox, I came back over here and I said, I tried to change it in the Android manifest because I knew it was in there from three to four. I tried to change that and then rebuild it. And I was like, no, nope, it gave me a bunch of errors. So if you get errors in here, uh, the best thing that I can tell you to do is come back over here and delete everything and do a complete new export from BuildBox. Go completely, just do a whole new, change it as a new number and everything and then import the whole thing again and export and make sure you get the version numbers changed. It's a pain in the butt, but it's the safest way that you know you're starting fresh every time. Um, if you keep trying to like update and change stuff, you're gonna screw yourself up. Uh, so there you go, that, that 10 meg file has uploaded version code 4 of 1.4, that's perfect. There's no expansion file, leave all that stuff there. The current production is 1.3, and or, I'm sorry, 1.2, and we are going to publish now to production. And it gives you this little warning that it takes several hours to, you know, uh, replicate across the servers. But there you go. Your version number is 4 and 1.4. And uh, upload it today. Perfect. That's really it. Let me uh, think if there's anything else I can tell you. That's, uh, yeah, that's about all I got. So I appreciate it. Uh, go ahead and go download the game. Those are the two games there. Uh, the price is right on them. So please enjoy. Uh, click on an ad if you if you'd like a, if you'd like to download whatever the ad's offering. I appreciate that. Once again, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, uh, like on Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff, and uh, stay up to date. Thanks.